Well, we've continued our little excursion out here on the buoy line, and we've just pulled up near the end of the buoy line here, and it's three little cobia that were out here swimming around this, and dropped the king rig on him. We dropped the king rig on him, and I'll be dang if he didn't bite. Uh, and sure how big he is, but kind of going to try to get him away from this tower here a little bit. Right up here behind is where the gap is, too. Well, that's a fairly stiff rod there you're using. That's uh, that's that Shimano combo that I bought with the bait runner. That was all right. I like. They, they put this together. Yeah, the Blue Water Outriggers put it together for me. Got 50 pound braid on it. We got another rig here. We're going to try the same, see if we can get the other ones up. That will see how this little cobia bite lasts. Well, there we got our fish up to the boat. It's some small cobia. There are probably six or seven of them, though, right out here. And we're just kind of playing with them, trying to find some bait. I don't think that's the bait we're looking for. Three, but you can five, see how clear the water is right now too. The water has cleared up considerably from the last few days. Yeah, seven little Kobe out here swimming together. But there's your blue water again. Alright, well we didn't hit our live bait out but we, we did have one of these live bait rigs. We'll show you a little bit later what it looks like. Is that I believe, the chartreuse color? Here's, a, here's one like it. So, got a little kingfish action there. He's using spinning tackle. And it's 40 pound braid, so it sets itself pretty well. In the, the jaw should be a pretty good hookup. It's a pretty good fish here. It's, don't want to try to hoss them too much. You let the fish enjoy the run. That's part of the fun. He's taken a good bit of line out of this one because I had uh, at least uh, 200 feet of braid and we got all the way out of the braid into the mono. Uh, he took a pretty good run. Okay, we're getting the Get him up fairly close to the boat one time here. See if we see a little silver. There he is. Ah, uh, no. That's a 22 pounder. Yeah, a nice little kingfish there. And the gaff. Okay, this is the rig we're using right here. You see it's a chartreuse skirt on the wire. And then you've got one hook tied right there with a haywire twist and then a small length of wire back down here to my thumb with the stinger rig. Alright, we're trolling along doing the same exact thing we just caught the kingfish on a minute ago and now we caught a Spanish. And I'm going to show you a little difference in these Spanish and the king when we get this in the boat, but this is a nice size Spanish mackerel. And keep in mind, Spanish mackerel is also one of the categories in this tournament. So, if you want to target the bigger Spanish, you use similar tackle that you're using for the kingfish. Okay, now you see our lateral line drop on the kingfish. See really his finger how that line drops down. Really drops on all kingfish. It really drops. Yeah. It drops a little bit on Spanish. There's an obvious difference. In but the, it always the has that good drop right there on a the king. And you have to remember that a that a, a small kingfish will have the spots on it just like this. A small kingfish will. And the only difference you can tell is by looking at the line and see this line has a little drop in it, but not like that. You've got to find that because you can... Well, what you want to see is vertical stripes going this way and them being about four feet longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Call him a wahoo. <laughs> well, we got another kingfish hooked up here, I believe. What happened, we went right over the top of the structure we're fishing over and just after we got past it, we opened the bell and let the... the uh, rig that we have on there, the one I demonstrated earlier, just drop a little bit in the water. Open the bell and it fell a little bit and we had two hookups at the same time. One of them we lost, but this one we have on. Doesn't seem to be as big a fish as the earlier one, but he hit aggressive. Okay. 
and keep his rod tip up a little bit. That way he's working the rod and levering the rod to tire the fish. Hang on just a minute and I'll help you with it. All right, we got a king on this flat line. Come on up this way, John. Watch your, watch your thing now. When you, when you hold it, when you reel it, this isn't turning. Don't just keep turning. Just kind of hold tension on it. You good. Just kind of reel down and ease up on it. Start there you this. go. See how that's wanting to turn yeah. too. Is if it's turning at the same time, just hold him and let him, let him run. Where you can't force him. It's little tiny hooks. Just gotta let him run and wear his stuff down. If he's not taking line, you should be. <clears throat> if he's taking line, let him. You just can't horse on him with that because the hooks are so tiny, you pull him out of his mouth. He's getting close. Let me get the cat. There he is. He's not a big one. He's a little schooly king. Huh? He's a little schooly. There you go. King Macarell. so far. All right, we have an early leader in the twenty dollar pot. Is this group Yeah, that's all right. Just kind of keep your rod tip out to the side. You can, you'll guide him back out there. Joe's the motor out of gear. All right, it's okay, Red. If he gets back there, we can get him back out. I need to get a gap. Yeah, you get that gap. This is a little small kingfish. Get him up. Yeah, I got him unhooked and I hooked him back. 